Ruth here. I uh, didn't bother to put the microphone on right now. Just, yeah, this is just going to be a quick video, hopefully. So I got these Arteco acrylic paint sets, metallic. So I thought it would be um, a very pretty set to get when I start some gel printing or something. So like, I don't know if you can really see, but it's got a very nice sheen on it. So like we have Pearl Crystal Girl. Okay. You can sort of see the sheen on the yellow a little bit. Uh, pearl yellow. Pearl orange yellow. You know, I think it's like the same color as my new glasses case. Ah. I went to pick up my glasses this morning. Bright gold. sure to choose a paint set that had both black and white in it and since it's metallic I wanted to, you know gold and silver but uh, this was like a very nice selection of 12 colors um, I didn't have very much to spend at the, at the time of getting this so I think this was like 16 pound or 17 pound either 15.99 $16.99. Can't quite remember. I'm pretty sure it was one of those. So that's that. And another thing I got some stencils. So, since this is at the beginning, I'll show you in depth the stencils I got for Christmas because I never actually did a video on that. I don't have a thing right now, so I'll just use the magnetic sheet I have so you can see. Those ones were a Christmas present from my sister. So, this was a set of 16. I mainly got it because it had a couple that I really wanted. I mean, I thought, you know, that would be a good, like, uh, maybe like a Japanese floor kind of thing going, you know, to go with my bamboo trellis embossing folder. I don't know. But I also got it because I like coffee stain and splatters on that one. Kind of like a uh, fireworks, maybe? I don't know. But the, uh, the stains was a deal center because I needed something like that. Also, I wanted bricks as well. And also, this lovely forest kind of scheme here. So like, that was what I bought. So I guess, well, if you're interested, I can show you the other stencils I have in here. Some briefly. The, this one. So it has three. This uh, seamed landscape builder one. Because I wanted a tree line and some clouds. And the clouds are pretty good look. And we have these. Maybe we got it for those for this pack. Mm. 
and taking the, uh, the diamonds and the circles for this one. Of course, now that I got the other ones, I've got other ones too, that are kind of the same anyway, so, yeah. Well, I could use one for the ink, you know, mainly for paint. Either way. I got a, uh, All Hallows Eve one that goes with the embossing folder. And this one, I think I went with the face stamps. Which I have right here. I finally organized, well, sort of organized my stamps, guys, stencils. Because I ordered, organized my embossing folder, so that's the first thing. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yes, so this one is the Fright Night stencil and stamp set that came with the faces. And then these from the uh, Avon calendars, Spellbinders one, and the Character's Companion ones. I think I could probably put these in a better, smaller case. And this is the Happy Birthday and uh, Flowers. And this is the Heart and the Snowflakes. But, um, hmm. I don't have any smaller pockets right now, so this will have to do. As long as they don't fall out. Obviously, this one. This is what I like this one. I haven't, the only thing I've used is those two so far. So yes, that is what I bought. I decided to uh, try out my gel plate that I got for Christmas. But yes, that's it. Thank you for watching. Over and out.